Ladies and gentlemen, hi, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. God, that is a very long title for a video game. Uh, if you remember what happened last time, we helped this chap find some spare change. We gave him some painkillers. Oh, we also got a explosive for him. Minor, minor detail. Obviously, the main thing was that we returned his money for him because we're playing good vampires. I can't remember if we're mem if we're playing good or bad, but we'll 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 just flick between the two. Now, from what I remember, he told us about a person who was hiding, and there is a person that we need to talk to. Now, I'll be honest, I can't remember where this person is, so I I cheated. I had a look on the um, wiki to find out where we're going next, because I'm not a very smart man when it comes to figuring out games that are complicated like this. I feel like as if a lot of video games these days I've kind of spoiled our brains in the sense that they say, hey, here is a objective marker, follow this arrow. So in the old school games like this, when that thing is not a a normal thing, um, you, you, you're a bit shit, really. So, yeah. So I'm going to try and pay more attention, he says. Uh, run button, there we go. Right, so we need to go to a place called The Asylum, which is... If I can get my reading glasses on. They're already on. Okay, fair enough. Uh, number six. So the exit for that is F, so... Ah, oh, first right. Oops, wrong button. There's awesome mice around here. Ratty rats, hello. Uh, that's the button. Right, okay, we've got a floating rat as well, that's fine. Uh, oh. Um, apparently we've gone inside the rat. That's okay. We've become the rat. Um, shit, was it, was it the first, first right, right. So it's point F. Hello, point F. And can we sneak through here? Excellent stuff. So yeah, nightclub. Not sure how our physical appearance is going to affect us going to said nightclub, but we shall see. Right, this was the medical place before. And we are looking for a place called Asylum. Fun fact, there's a nightclub in my hometown called Asylum. Well, when I say nightclub, it's more of a place where students go. It's attached to the University of Hull. So I don't go there because I'm too old. When you get to a certain age, you kind of just spend most of your time drinking at home on your own. Which is what I've got here. If you're, if you're interested in the uh, thing I'm drinking, it's a good old kind of Stella. More of a Carlin drinker, but on my local Tesco Express, they don't do them in pint cans. And I'm in it for the volume, not the not the quality. Do I try and go for the front door? Would that be a smart thing to do? Let me double check that there's no... Oh, policeman. Let me reactivate my doofer. Let me just double check that there's no, like, alternative ways in. I don't want to ruin anyone's day with my horrific face. Uh, no, it's just... Okay, fair enough. We're going for the front door. Now, apparently this is like a vampire place. Ooh. Homeless man, can I drink you? Ah, you're sleeping too far. Too far over. Sorry, thankfully our obfuscate doesn't actually take much in the way of blood from us. Do you mind? Let me go through. God, this street traffic here is terrible. Okie dokie, alright. Uh, the button is E. Yes, well done me. That is useful. Right, we are in uh, ooh, on the left hand I don't know why I'm pointing like as if I could put you could, it's on the left hand side. Ooh, Ooh, what do we have here? Ah. Another scrumptious young tray thing straight out of life and into my club. Mmm, you smell new. Oh. My fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Frighten is not the word. This is... Uh, oh, that's the lady from the, from the artwork. Okay, all right. Um, all right, who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room. 
things. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Um, oh dear. Uh, ah, uh, uh, do you have a name? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. Uh, I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Uh, honestly, teenage me. This. Teenage me, this is what I would be all about. And I think adult me, maybe, to a certain extent. Ah, did not expect to have things like this challenged in this episode. Okay, okay, goodbye. Right. Now, this is... This is too much. I hope this music doesn't give me a copyright strike. If it does, I'll be very cross. Um, okay then. All right. Uh, what do we do? We're, we're safe, yeah? Bartender, hello. We'll be nearby or something? Damn. You're really good. They got that mask. You're the client, pal. Wow. Um... Oh, fine. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll can't take off right now. Can you tell me where Therese is? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she has business to send to, but I can hear her and can ask Beckering from here. Why do you need to see her? Uh, I need to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, I hear that from everyone. I'll she expect to hear something. Uh, that's it. She's expecting me. Hey, look, I'll cut you a break. I'll let Therese tell her just how to take the elevator over here. If I hear that you're not here, you would be able to find some cars to make your me. Uh, thanks and goodbye. Uh, elevator. That is the ladies. This is the gentleman. Can I, can I go in here? No, I can't. Where the... Oh, the elevator. Hello, elevator. All right, okay. Uh, what button? We are pressing button two. Hopefully, uh, her sister is less, I would once say, intense. Ooh, what are you? You are a golden ring. And you have a newspaper. A uh, carnival of death, gruesome remains found on pier by police, uh, on the on the pier, police baffled. Yeah, we know that. We've probably read that. Ooh, a mirror. Ah, oh, look at that. We've got no reflection, because we're vampires. Ooh. Why you Side of that wicked haunted house, concealing that dirty disease mind. Then you have no sin. <laughs> Let he who is without sin catch the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It seems you're just one still. You'll kill calling back. Should I just go and call him Doc a pretty way? You like this? That's too much. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. There are some sister arguments going on there. Hello. Ah, you're, norm you're more normal. Hello, normal Please sister. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is unnecessary evil. Yes, unnecessary scandalous. Let let's, let's, uh, let's say that. Um... Uh... Uh, where is she? She's got issues she's still trying to get over, and so she's locked herself in the bathroom. Jealousy, really. You see, I was the family favorite, and I'm the successful one. And as you may have noticed, she's obviously starved for attention. Ah, daddy issues. I have them as well, but, you know, I don't put on a skirt. Not on a, not on a weekday anyway. Wink. I'm not cross-dresser. Or maybe I am. Who knows? I am whatever you want me to be. Uh, let's go with, are you Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? So the vampire that we want to find is feuding with this woman, and we don't want them feuding anymore. Uh, oh, well, that's our first option. I needed to call off the feud with Bertrand Tongue. 
Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? No offense. Oh, is he Nosferatu? Oh. He's my brother. My brother from a different sire. Uh, why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. Ooh. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Then can you put the word out that you got no feud with him? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Uh, that's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Mm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. I hope it's a drinking spirit. Um... A spirit? You mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Ah. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Um, uh, how, how do you kill a ghost? Uh, sure, I'll do it. What do I have to do to get rid of this ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay... It's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Ocean House Hotel, right. Um, uh, uh, I'll do it if you promise to call off the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay then. Um. So, yeah, I, I could, I could respect that, Before and I appreciate I forget, it. F fine. Take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. <gasps> You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. We know the sewers. That's that's us. Sewers, no if problem. You'll excuse me. I've got situations to set straight. All right. Fine. I don't need to know any details. I'm gonna have a look around your room there. Ah, oh, these are the sisters. Maybe that's nice. Any books? Any computers I can... Will she move about? How sneaky can I be? Hello, computer. Uh, free emails. Unread. Let's see if I can... Email. Password required. Oh, well, don't you worry, baby. We're hackers. Oh, look at us. We're in the mainframe. And one, taking it underground. I'll be hiding out until your sister calms down. Let her know I pose no threat. And have her contact me when all is well. That was from Bertram. Ooh. Okay, let's go for next. As for Mikey. Hey, what are you doing Friday night? I was thinking about stopping by the club. Maybe we could do some heh dancing. Okay. And... To Therese Vorman, you dirty little... Ooh. How dare you meddle in my affairs in my city and with that disgusting Nosferatu, no less. So... Oh, that's an email from my sister. Okay, so this is the laptop of the... of the... interesting vampire of which I have no opinions of. Contacts. Oh, well, don't you worry, we can hack into this one as well. Look at us. Um, ooh, we could maybe talk to... Oh, I've got to type in his actual name. Bertie. So I've got his email. Shreknet.vtm. Right. I won't make a note of it, but I've got it on video now, so I can... I don't need to... Rec I, I know how to do it. I don't, I'm not getting a notebook out at the moment, because this is too much effort. Okay, can I leave? I can leave. Well done, mate. She's in the loo. Can I? Ah, it's locked. Never mind. Fine. I won't unlock it in front of you. It won't cause any drama. Let us go to the Ocean Hotel house. 
which is number one. Number one. Number one. Take us down back to the nightclub. Back out into the sewers. That's what we know. That's what we understand. Sup? Outside world. Uh, obfuscate. Obfuscate. Oh, we can't obfuscate. People are seeing us. Run away! Ah, sugar. Into the sewers. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so the hotel, we can we can do that. That was on the pier, I think. Maybe. Uh, give us a map. It's good to have a map. Oh no, this is the silly map which we can't read for whatever reason. Thank you, game, for putting in a false map. Super useful. Okay then, so the... Oh, uh, where is the hotel? There was a hotel, wasn't there? It's definitely what they said in the... in the mission, surely. Uh, Teresa's a ghost to go to the Ocean Hotel... Uh, house Hotel and search for a personal item. Um, it's a place to bring it back. The only way to get to the ocean house is through the sewers. So there must be a... Oh, it might not be on the map. It might be a... It's not on the key. It's on the actual map itself. Silly bugger. Okay, fine. We shall go... I, I, hold on. I am um, there, so it's hard left and hard left again. So yeah, I thought to myself, while we're in the sewers and walking about and stuff, I've uh, done a bit of Vampire the Masquerade lore to... Make these travel times a little bit more interesting. Uh, so I found out that one way that a vampire can increase their strength is by drinking the blood, or drinking them dry, of a vampire of a higher generate of a generation before them. But apparently, Diablerism, which is the name of the act, is apparently a big naughty no no. Also a rat nearby. Should I drink some rat blood? Nah, I saw it. I'll find rats up there. No matter where you go in life, there's always a rat. Do with that knowledge what you will. Okay. So we need to find... ...some friendly information. We are in a combat zone, so anything is... ...legal here. Now, getting in there through the front door, is that the smart thing? Can we go to on the right-hand side? Does not look like it's available. Okay, that's fair. What about... Before we go in, the front door, because I imagine that is not what the Nosferatu would want to do. What's inside this little... little happy place? Ooh, there's more computers! How exciting! Uh, none of this is pick up There's a Tefalon, and a safe. Uh... Ooh! Something's crashed outside there. And I've been locked in. Ooh. Okay, before we go out there, look at this computer. No, I can't. Right. Let us out, you bugger. Ooh, spooky. What's made you go, Hellcat? Gotta be super, super sneaky. Uh, can I not go for the left-hand side, neither? Alright, game, thanks for railroading me. Not like I wanted to sneak into the, the place. God! <sighs> I'm quite good with scary games. Scary games are born and bred. I, I've been born and bred on scary games. I've played all the. Um, uh, not pathologic, what's the other one? The um, Amnesia Dark Descent. I went all the way through that. All the Resident Evils and stuff. But I am a jumpy soul. Come on, let me in. Let me see what's what. Okay. Oh, there's there's baddies. Oh. 
This is going to be rather unpleasant. There's a mister over there. Oh, no, he's not there. Oh, this is going to be full-blown fear-inducing. Okay, um, where would we start to find something? Where would a ghost keep their stuff? I assume a bedroom would be a- Oh, you- Bugger. You awful, awful bugger. This is not what I said. Right, get a knife ready. When all else fails, get ready to give him the stabber. Something tells me being invisible won't help us here. Uh, eight. What was our uh, wrong button? Log. Log? Sheets. What is our unlocking skill? Um, God, where is it? Covert. Lock picking three. Oh, we're, we're not gonna. That's a lock picking eight. We're not getting in there, in there anytime soon. I don't want to waste additional blood for anything. Down the scary corridor? Down the scary corridor. Uh, women being chased. That's Scooby Doo right there. Uh, do I follow her? Nope. I'm going to use logic. The, in, in every scary film, you see, oh, look, there's a thing that I should chase, because that's where the scary thing is. Nope. Wherever the scary thing is, I'm going to ignore. Ooh, washing machines there. Anything useful around here? In fact, I may as well just walk around normally. It knows I'm here. It knows where I am. It can see through walls, I imagine. Let's not give it the satisfaction of Making me scared. Something tells me our lock picking skill won't be of much use here. Fine, let's chase the scary lady. Oh, this door's not locked, so you know it's gonna be bad. Oh, you bugger. Let's walk around. Hello? Oh, you, uh, uh. Well, that's not nice. Hmm. Aggressive furniture is not it's not what I sign up for in this job. Come on, let me out. Bugger. Fine, um... What do you say? Hotel Hell. Chill, ch child severed head found in hotel laundry room. Oh, the, the slow open. So, severed head in the laundry room. Can we find it? Is that the item? Something tells me it's probably not, but... Ah! Uh, go on, give us it, you bugger. Ooh, boiler room key. Take. Oh, you. Yeah. I'm meant to be a vampire. I'm meant to be the knight. I'm meant to be the scary thing. Don't approve of this. Right, boiler room. So I've got a boiler room key. Ah, uh, these are the boiler rooms. Yes, they are. Hello, boiler room. Oh, I've just been in here. Never mind. What about you? You're not openable. Fine. Whatever. Not like I care. Uh, power status. Uh, oh, I assume we're in the basement. Can I open? Open, says me. What if I get low? Let me in. Let me in, please. I want to get out. Can I stab it? Apparently not. Can I feed on it? I can't feed on it. Okay, all right. What about going this way, then? Oh, this way I fell through. Can't jump up. Ha! Maybe this is it. Maybe this elder ghost intends to kill us just but through starvation. Me being a silly bugger, we need to turn the power on, I think. I think that's what's been implied here. 
Oh, going downstairs, that's fine. Going downstairs into a dark basement, that's never a problem. Oh, there's a mister. Oh, he thinks it's all that and a bag of sugar. Oh, there's no mister. Come on, where are you, you bastard? Oh, I'm going to run out of obfuscate. I don't want to use too much of it. It's going to do some fucky-wucky stuff here, isn't it? Let there be light. Uh, I still need to get out of this. Ah, fuck it. This is not pleasant. Oh yeah, it's a half health damage there. That's useful. And now they play music for me. Well, as long as it's a well done music, I suppose. That's the main thing. And now, ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. Less of the evil laughing, please, sir. Bloody hell, there's cobwebs, there's bullshit going on. There's a woman. Ugh. I suppose it wants us to go and talk to... Fine, we'll go talk to the woman then. Oh, hello. Ah, silly me. Forgot we were in haunted house for a brief second then. Go on then, woman. Stop hurting me. Jesus. Does this newspaper have anything? Another body. Police say a second child was chopped up like firewood. How do you know it wasn't the first child? Hmm. Uh, a wholesome family bedroom. Yeah. Oh, it's a children's bedroom, of course. With tricycles and a little dollhouse. Am I allowed to open any of your drawers? Nope. Fine. Go on then. You the same. Chandelier! Uh, uh, get out, trust me. The very moment I'm able to get out, I will. Ah, fine, 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 fine. This is awful. I hate this. Right, I've got some keys. Fantastic. Keys and broken post. I think I might need to actually heal myself. Blood heal. Thankfully, that doesn't cost too much in the way of blood. Um. Okay, here we go. You are not a locked door, you are a boarded up door. Ah, bugger off! I get shanked where I come from if we do that blood. Still got my still got my knife out. Yep, still got my knife out. Right, so we're looking for our, uh Hmm. Is that the room you want me to go in? Well I'm gonna go in a different room. Yeah? No, there's nothing in this room. Fine, okay. Let's play it your way, Mrs. Lady. Oh, there's... There's a plank of wood down there and a hole in the floor. Nothing else I can pinch. Fine. Let's break you. And stealth mode, go. Ooh, it's a bar. That's not too bad. I like bars. Maybe the ghost is an alcoholic. Probably not. I mean, the ghost is probably a child. Oh, I don't want to break the, the beer. That would be a sin. Oh, newspaper. Hello. Murder-suicide. Ocean house killer possibly responsible for Inferno. Urgh. That's the worst combination of words. 
Well, I suppose murder was an ad nonce. That's probably the worst, worst combination. Okay then, ghost. I'm in your I'm in your house. I'm in your bar. Sorry. Can I press one of you? Hmm. Can't. May, maybe this is what it wants me to do. Hold on. Right. Ah, bugger. Put some alcohol in there. And then can I send you down? No, cl clearly the ghost's not asking for a drink. Fine. Okay. What a ridiculous idea this is. Stupid idea. Alright, we're in the kitchen. Oh, those pans. I'm not pansexual, leave me alone. That door's not available. Stay away from cutlery, otherwise it will start jumping at us. Nope, okay. Ah, oh, there's knives everywhere. This is going to be awful. Oh, a diary. I don't want to help you at this point. Ooh, log update. Hello. Discovered a journal in the Ocean House. According to its contents, a jealous husband murdered his wife and family because of a locket. The murderous ghost of the husband means to keep her trapped here with, forever with him. And she seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. Oh, so the woman's friendly. Well, could she be like less like... fucky-wucky about it? Oh, he's coming. Hide. Oh, not everything. Oh, no, no. This is... Fire. Oh, okay, do I have to leave? Is that, is that the thing? Help, help. Oh, God. I have to get back in the dumbware. Let me in, let me in. Jesus. Send me back up. Send me back up! Oh god. Oh, that's a one way done where. Right, maybe he'll just chill. Right, buttons. And the buttons aren't good. The portent is not favourable. Right, let's try the door again. Uh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, we're going to have to use more healing juice, aren't we? I wanted, right, before we carry on, I was hoping, much like when we was playing Disco Elysium, I'd be drinking, I'd be talking, I'd be pontificating about what was going on around me. It'd be a nice relaxed time. But apparently, this game is full of... Fuck you juice. Right. Let me out. This is not what I sign up for. Be careful. That's exactly what I'm doing. My main priority is being careful. Oh, this is an elevator. I bet it's going to come down, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Yes! I knew it! Bugger. Can't stop me. I'm semi-immortal. Um, can I jump to that? Huh! I can! Well done, me. Bit of parkour right there. Right, first door. It's going to be the door with the children's music coming out of it, isn't it? Ugh, you... The tension is palatable. It wants me to press it. it wants me to go. Fine. Ah! It stopped playing play music. Be gentle. That's all I ask. Oh, it's a cupboard. Never mind. Uh, stop it! Stop it! Grow up!
Ugh. And you can stop this horrible music as well. Honestly, I am not normally fearful. But that's a lie. I am a fearful man. I fear most things. Heights. Large bodies of water. The unending rise of the Chinese. Talking to women who are confident. Talking to women who aren't confident. Talking to women in general, actually. Uh, murder unsolved. Mother or father could have been the Ocean House killer. Well, we know now. Oh, actually, so that's the mum. And that's the dad. Yeah, he doesn't look happy, does he? He looks a bit noncy, if you ask me. Uh, none of the doors have handles. Okay. Ah, there was a woman just there. From which door do I go through? Oh, I don't like the distant lights. Let me in! I'll shank ya. Can I jump through you? No. Crying babies. They're the worst. Oh, you have a door. We've already been through you. Was it not a... Don't flush myself down a loo, do I? Clearly, it's asking me to retrace my steps. Do I go up some more? Do I go further? Oh, you bastard! That's just immature. Oh, God! Go in! Ah, I can't even attack the porcelain. Ah. Oh. Nothing worse than death defying porcelain. It has to be said. Right, let me. Ah, there we go. The scary music stopped. Now I'm in the loo. Oh, no, it's come back. Am I back in the same place? Have I gone full circle? Am I losing my mind? Maybe. Hello, what's in the trunk? There is. Bugger all. Fine. Who can I go up for you? Are you a way up? Hold on, let me see if I can parkour this. Whoop! Ah, yeah, look at that. The Nosferatu cunning. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me let me try and be more cunning. There we go. We figured it out. Right, you can just F right off. Actually, you look more prettier than scary. Should I walk your your fire? Your ghost fire, never mind. Uh let me through. Ah, ghost fire everywhere. I assume it's asking me to just run. That's the plan for me. Ah, stop it! It's going to kill me. Hold on. Uh Blood heal. Right, stay still. The ghosts aren't triggered if you stay still. We'll just stand here. We'll heal a bit. We'll enjoy our time together. Uh, I might have to use a blood pack. We'll do one more. And then, yeah, I think blood pack is the way forward. Which thingy is it under? Ah, there we go. Right, we've used one. That was not a lot of blood. I right, give us back. Oh, does that heal us? Oh, well, sod that then. We've made some bad life choices, haven't we? Oh, this is... Oak. Well, this is nice. Oh no, it's going to bugger me over soon. Get in the cupboard. We like to watch. Um. Swear to God, this better not be copyrighted music. I'll find the game developers and 
Oh, there we go. Pendant. We found the pendant. Oh, she made us a magic to go over. Well, that's useful. Thank you, lady. Right, let's get the absolute F out of here. I am not one for doing things that increase the old blood pressure. Not at my age. Ah, slow door open. Stop being slow door. Ooh. Can I summon the lift? Or is it just a drop down? Do I take fall damage? Or can I just attempt to jump back over there? Oh, yeah. oh no, it's fine. Oh. Okay, all right. So we go up here, and then we crawl through the crawl space. No. Fire axe! So I assume we... Ah, bugger. Right. Jump through onto that. And I assume fire axe. Bugger. God, the parkour was easy earlier on. Oh, do we just jump through that door? Is that where we just came through? No, it isn't. Well done, us. So even when we make a mistake, we get an axe out of it. I assume the axe is probably better than the knife. It's less London, though, isn't it? I prefer the old stabbery doodads. Right. Peace out, kids. Oh, there was, there was one newspaper down there. Have we read... Ah! It's one last scare. Did we read that newspaper? I can't remember. Grand opening! Santa Monica celebrates the New Ocean House Hotel. Fantastic. Thank you for that wonderful information. Let's get the good lording hell out of this place. Never mind you, crow. It's quite a sad story, though. Nothing more disheartening than the death of a child. Well, we'll have to do our best to avenge him. Or hair. Or both. There was multiple children being murdered. I think we're back in the sewers where everything makes sense. There's tunnels. There's rats. Where are you, ratty rats? Mouse! So the rats would never do us harm. Rats are our friends. And <laughs> lovely floating animation there. Great, right. It's F that we wanted to go to for the asylum, which was, if I am not mistaken, look, we're, all, we're already learning the layout of the little place. Oh, another rat. Hello, rat. Oh, no, every time I hear another sound, I just think it's the ghost following us. Uh, first person, crouch. Let us in. <sighs> Alright, swap to Obfuscate. And then the asylum was over on this side, question mark? Yes, yes it was, Mr. Landshark. Oh, Obfuscate just in the nick of time. No, oh, that one's a little bit closer. Should really use that one next time, wherever that one may be. Back to the nightclub. Where everything makes sense. Well, the scariest thing is a low hanging top. Okay, let us see the sisters. Tell them that we've sorted out some misters. So, my go to strategy for this is just. Pretend to have been sensible. Oh, it's 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 you. Hello, you. Uh, not even a knock. I could have been undressing. Stop that. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Don't don't mention her name. It, it's it's too soon since Victoria's died. I know you're probably thinking Elizabeth, but no, Victoria was my main girl. 
Um, I brought this spot up. So, uh, uh, yeah, I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Uh... uh mm -hmm. Um... I need to give something to Therese. It's from the hotel. Ooh! <laughs> Can I see it? Um... I don't know... If you would want it. Because you're a bit mental. I'd rather give it to Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? Um... No, please can't... Hmm. How many of you watching have ever been in a situation where someone has been acting really, really extreme and you've told them to calm down and it's worked? I can think of zero times it's worked, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, no, please, calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. What well, fear? I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Um. Go, go on then. Uh, whoa, it's all right. Here, here's the thing from the... Sometimes all you can do is just give them what they want and hope that they go away. <sighs> like a knight in shining armor dangling at the end of a noose. Uh, right. Therese was supposed to call off the feud with Tongue. Oh, did she now? I spend a few nights with Bertram and all of a sudden he's the pox of Santa Monica. Paranoia and Therese have been bedfellows for longer than I can remember. Indulge my curiosity. What did you really think of Therese? Um... Uh... She's not a pest. That's the most... positive thing we can say in this thing. Uh, let's remain neutral. I don't really know. About the feud. I wish I could do something about it, but Bertram won't believe it's off until he hears Therese say it's off. And as I told you, I'm really not sure where Therese is. However... Oh dear. What is it this time? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. Um... Uh, something tells me that I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? She won't help me otherwise. She's got the key now. Um, or the amulet, bracelet, whatever. Uh, what do I do? I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something, Velvet. Hey, you know what? Stealing's fine by me. Uh, all right. <laughs> Time <laughs> Guess I'll go slashing. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself right, stop. for so long. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. Um. Uh, be back oh, soon. Oh, Goodbye. Was something Ugh. about the paintings? Hmm. Was it? I can't remember. Oh well. Have fun, Duckling. I will. Uh, so, God, what was that place called again? You see, this is why I can't do games like this, right? Um, Jeanette has asked to go to Gallery Noir in Santa Monica and slash the paintings inside and steal the charity box. I'm all for ruining avant garde art and stealing money. That is what the Nosferatu do. We are role-playing as a... Right? Come on. Let me press... One! I mean, we are role-playing as a member of Gypsyville. The mighty gypsies. And anything that isn't bolted down, we will steal. That is how we roll. In the gypsy community.
Speaking of rolling in the Gypsyville community, I do apologise. I, I normally try and dress relatively smart for whenever I'm on camera, but I've just had a bath. And, uh, these are my comfy clothes. Honestly, though, I went to Lush today. Uh, every now and then I just go in there and just buy loads of soap. I went for my usual honey, treated myself to some sandalwood and s cinnamon, something like that. And then, what was the other one? It was... Oh, they gave me like a free like little toffee sample, which was banging. Fuck, what's it called again? It's called a Galerie Noir. And that is 12. So... E, which is the nearest one to us. Insert Markiplier meme here. I remember that. That was a thing way back when. Right. Off you skate. And we are going to the Galilee. You are not the gallery. You are the beach. Are you the gallery? You look big and important. Oh, no. It's the place with the signs in Gallery Noir, right? Never through the front door. Ah! Uh, what are you policemen chasing after me? Be gone. I'm here to slink into the shadows. I am the knight. Easy peasy. A lot of picking a skill of one needed. Oh, that was easy. We're, uh, here. So I guess we just... Slash. Botch. That's not good. Uh, this one? Oh, it's stealing blood from us. Ooh. So I suppose we've got to stab the right one. Uh, Kane slays Abel. Uh, Kane meets Lilith. Oh, this is the story of... Right, okay, so this is this is where some actual lore knowledge comes in handy. So, uh, Kane was the first vampire ever to exist. Um, but he wasn't a vampire at the beginning. He met a woman called Lilith, which was way back when before Adam and Eve were doing the day. Uh, it was actually Adam and Lilith. But then Lilith shagged around a bit. So anyway, that one first. There we go. And then after Cain slays Abel, he then is cursed by God. Yes. Then he meets Lilith. And they fuck around for a bit. And then Cain spurns Lilith. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Chef's kiss. I know what I'm doing some of the time. And you are- oh! A blood guardian! Damn these lack of- right, personants, go! Look at this, you can't- you can't kill me. Can I feed on you because you're made of blood? No, I can't. Okay. Wonderful combat mechanics. I'll stab you good. Take this. They're not the most compelling combat mechanics, but... We'll take that anyway. Take that straight to the bank. So now we need to steal some money. Any money knocking around here. I'm not leaving without- oh, is, is it over here? Well, that was remarkably easy. I was expecting a full-blown... ...thingy. But no, just a bit of a history lesson, and... ...yeah. Also, lost humanity. I suppose we have just stolen from a charity. So that is understandable. Right, back to the sewers with us. Where is the sewer hole? Hello, hobo. Well, actually, oh, we could just go down one of these side streets, actually. It'd be probably a lot easier and quicker than going through the sewers. 
Oh, he says. I have to redo the obfuscate. All right, okay. Uh, cancel. We move forward. And Asylum is just around the corner. Uh, policeman's there. Don't want to get caught by him. What a smashing thing tonight. Absolutely ripping through the story. No side quests needed, baby. I'm the kind of guy, like, we'll do a side quest if it naturally appears in the story. Because otherwise it just doesn't make thematic sense for us to, to go you, through it. What were you thinking? Um, about... How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? That's a good... Mm, uh, what? She threw it into the Pacific. Do you know what this means? It means that I can't get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me. And to make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. Ah. Hmm. So we've made some questionable life choices here. And I think we've all learned a valuable lesson. I don't know what that valuable lesson is, and I will definitely make the same mistake in the future. Uh, I can... Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The Ocean House is worthless! So our business is forfeit. The feud is on! Okay, um... Uh, you're a rational professional woman. Certainly there's something I can do. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Uh, I'll go. Then is the feud off. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Okay, I'll do it. Uh... Yes. No, we have not made good life choices here. But, we get to go to a diner. That's quite exciting. God, this music's quite loud. I hope it's not gonna... The muck up the recording. Be careful if you've got headphones on. Or if you've got an allergic reaction to techno, techno music. Obfuscate! To the diner we go. Oh, the diner's there! I could just mosey on over. Ooh, actually, I'm low on blood at the moment. I should. Because when you're low on blood, in this game, you are more likely to vamp out. Now, where are you going, Mr. Man? Can I drink from you? It'd be nice to drink from something that isn't a rat for once. But I suppose that is not the way of our of our species. So we'll top up. We'll have a little a little drinky poo. But yeah, going back to um. Cain being the first vampire ever, so apparently after he knocked about for Lilith, Lilith basically taught him how to do all the vampire stuff. And he then basically set up like a city. And from what I understand, he wasn't that bad of a ruler. He was actually relatively fair and just. Come on, rats, where are you? It's not very dignified, this, but we'll go with it. But yeah, then after Cain, I think something happened, or maybe... I don't know what was the motivation for him to infect more... Well, not infect. 
He turned three people into vampires, and they were the second generation. And then those three, when Cain exiled himself for reasons that I've completely forgot. Probably something really cool and useful. This is where we came from, wasn't it? Gonna give it a go. Regardless. Uh, yeah, and then after those three people then made twelve. And then those twelve are like the OG vampires that set up all the clans. And they've been best friends ever since. Now, I don't know how friendly people are going to be with us in the diner, so I'm only going to talk to people that I think will be nice and chill with us. That's the idea. That's the plan. Ooh. Well, looks like a gang. Uh, so sit by the booth near the phones. Oh, Jesus! What? What is this? Oh, God. What's, what's all this about? What have I done? Can I sneak out? I don't want to come out. Well, clearly I've got to murder these people, then. Self-kill! That's quite handy. <laughs> I am the knight. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Why is it that opening a door ruins my obfuscate, but... Not murdering. It's fine, that we'll take it. That dude's got a shotgun. I remember... Was his name Dean or someone? Probably shotguns are not a vibe for us. Oh well, never mind. Ah, oh, bugger! Jeez Louise. We have acquired a shotgun. Right, never mind me, man who's worried. Hello, phone. Cannot talk while during combat. Would have been a criminal violation. Shit, the police is here. Phone. What do you... Ah, oh, this is not what I intended. All I have to do is just wait for the police to leave us alone. I am not under arrest. You, you're under arrest. Is there a way to escape this place? Do I have to kill the man? Ignore me. I am not in combat. I I don't I don't consent. No, you're just a bad man. Oh, I, just, I just need to put the knife away. Fair enough. Uh, hello. It was a setup. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. I had to lock myself in the bathroom because now she's got a gun. And please, you have to help me. Uh, slow down. Tell me what happened. Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up and... Did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. Um... Yeah, yeah hold, hold on, I'm having a... This is a private call. Thank you very much. Um... Uh, well, I suppose that Therese has actually tried to kill us. Don't worry, Jeanette. I'll deal with Therese. I've got a score to settle. Hurry! I don't know how much longer I have! I'm on my way.
So you know how we said earlier on that we're not going to learn from our mistakes? It's just... It is what it is. It is what it is. Right. Will I still be obfuscated when I leave this place? Will they notice the door opening? Uh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Haha! -ha. A master of stealth. Hey, baby. I'll just casually go over to the nightclub. Like nothing ever happened. I mean... It's how we roll. Compelling combat. That's what we do. That's an interesting dress. Ah, there's there's too much. There's too much in here. Too many scantily clad people. It's not what I sign up for. Not on this Christian Minecraft server. Okay. You stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me. I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. You poor deluded kiss. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. He treated you like a- You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that b- You bitch. He never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Huh. Interesting. Uh, what's going on here then? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Hmm... This this has taken quite the turn. Uh let's 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 well, I mean go on then, Jeanette. What did, what did she whisper? He had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until shut up. Just shut There's a big red button. I don't wanna press it gonna press it. Go on, Jeanette. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night. Pious as a nun. Stable as the Earth's orbit. It's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Um, is that true, Jeanette? She sounds like she has a point. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. So she'll rub up against anything that'll take her in. Um. Uh, 
Uh, well, I mean, Therese did try and have us killed. It's not, not great, is it? Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? That's a and fair point. Father, father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Um, what happened to your father, um, Therese? I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart, so he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese, you placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Oh, uh. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's too much going on. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? Well, I actually can't believe that. Was fine. Enough! Don't say another word about this. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Um... Give me the gun. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Oh, she killed Jeanette. What? Uh, okay. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, a word to anyone. Um, I don't understand if anyone would believe me anyway. Goodbye. So we've killed... Well, she killed Sexy Vampire. Well, at least our hands are clean. We made no life choices in that. We were just in it for the ride. And you know what? On on that note, I think we're going to end it there because that was a lot to take in. We went for an emotional roller coaster in the ghost house. We've had questions asked. Feel free to judge me on my life choices. Because I certainly will later on tonight. In my nightmares. Um, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. We do this kind of stuff every now and then. Uh, we do lots of War I'm a Donna War content. Uh, there's a Patreon if you want to support the channel, and there's a Discord if you want to do the Discord things. I will see you all in a bit. Peace.